Stop, 2015, directed by Benny Dietz, starring Matt O'Leary, Jessica Cook, and Lance Henriksen. The guests and catering staff at a garden party come under attack by mutant wasps, whose deadly stings lay eggs in the guests and cause them to birth killer human-sized wasps. Full disclosure, not a fan of indie films. I know there's a market for it, but it's just never been my cup of tea. The leads are your typical quirky indie movie characters who smoke weed and swear and might not necessarily be as charming as they're intended to be if you're not a fan of indie films. There's enough will they or won't they yo-yoing going on to induce motion sickness, which really gets annoying after a while with multiple characters goading on the leads. Sidney Perch looks and acts like a Fred Armisen character, which is apparently a prerequisite from IFC's distribution company. At the 23 minute mark, the film finally becomes what you hope for, as the wasps start to sting people, who in turn gestate human-sized wasps within a matter of minutes. As a survival horror film, it's painfully generic, with the novelty of these events occurring within an indie film wearing off quickly. The effects aren't anything to write home about either, unfortunately, with no noteworthy standouts in practical or digital effects or noteworthy creature designs, no creative kills. It just was fairly generic. Lance Henriksen shows up. He gives a more enthused performance than he did in Antibody, but not by that much. A Return to the Living Dead reference is made. Trioxin Fertilizer. It doesn't go any further than that, though. The director said that he was influenced by B-movies like Them, and more recent films like Slither. The problem with this claim is the fact that this film doesn't really seem to invest in the pulpy B-movie premise that it's presenting, down to a lack of investment in the origin of the mutations. Verdict? Meh. Good background noise if you want a survival horror film on in the background, but unless the novelty of an indie horror mashup appeals to you, you can honestly skip this one. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.